Today on Papaw's Projects, we're going to take a little bit of time and design a foot for the large 3D printer that we're going to build. We're going to do this in Fusion 360, so stick around. Okay, before we get started, I would like to take a moment to ask if you would please click on the subscribe button and help me grow this channel. If you would like to receive notifications anytime I upload new content, go ahead and ring that bell. And then anytime I upload new content or go online, you'll be notified and you'll be the first to see it. Thank you very much. Now let's move on and start the project. Okay, so to begin, the first thing I gotta do is I gotta do a screen share and we're gonna go over into Fusion 360 and we are going to design this part so this is going to be a pretty simple little part it's just going to be a foot to fit on my 40 millimeter round aluminum extrusion and I've got an idea in my head kind of how I want it so let's start out the first thing we need to do is we need to create a sketch and all a sketch is I look at it as basically a piece of paper. How would I draw this out on paper? I start with that frame of mind. So the first thing I do is I would take a piece of paper by creating a sketch and then on that piece of paper I'm going to start drawing the components I guess of what I want this piece to look like. Well I know right off the bat I have a piece of aluminum extrusion that is 40 millimeters long, uh, in diameter. So I'm going to click sketch. Let me do that again. Let me click sketch, circle, and then I want to create a circle from the center point and drag it out. So I'm going to click here in the center origin and I'm going to drag it out and I'm just going to get it out there somewhere and I'm going to manually type in the measurement I want. Now my extrusion is 40 millimeters, <clears throat> but I want clearance for the 40 millimeters, so I'm going to change that to 41 millimeters. Enter, enter, and that will give me the inside diameter of the foot where the extrusion will be inserted. Now, outside of that circle, I need to have some thickness. I need a wall around it for support, so we're going to draw another circle. So I'm still on the same piece of paper, the same sketch, which you'll see here. This is the sketch. On that same piece of paper, I'm going to draw another circle in the exact same place, but I'm going to make it a little bigger. So I'm going to click in the center, drag it out, and I'm going to make this one have about three millimeters, two millimeters, two and a half. Let's see. I'm going to go with 46 millimeters on the outside diameter and we went on 41 on the inside so two and a half millimeter wall thickness is what we're going to end up with okay that's pretty simple so far <clears throat> now basically all I want to do is take this oops let me hit enter one more time to lock that in now that I have my sleeve that I want for my extrusion to slide into I need to give it the area for the foot. I want to give it a flat bottom. Now there's different ways you can do that. Uh, one way is you could draw a rectangle. But all I'm going to do is simply freehand, well not freehand actually, I'm going to draw a line and create the shape that I'm looking for. So I'm going to do that. I'm still using the same sketch down here, the same piece of paper. And I'm going to draw a line. So I picked the line tool and I want it to be right here. Let me zoom in so you can see just a little better. Drag it over here. Okay. So I'm going to start right here in the center on the vertical axis and I'm going to click. And I'm going to come down Oh, let's see. I'm going to come down 
46, 23. I don't know. Let's come down here. Come down to right here. Let's say 30. 30. Enter. Okay. Now I'm going to come draw another line on the same piece of paper. And I'm going to go from here. And I'm going to come over 46 because that's the width of our piece. And that was easy. And now I'm going to draw a third line back up. Start here, and I'm going to bring it up to here. Okay, <clears throat> so there's pretty much the outside shape, the rough body that I want. Now, my aluminum extrusion, if you've seen in my past videos, also has a notch in the top and bottom. So what I'd like to do is I would like to make a key in here that will allow me to lock it in so there's no way it can get out of alignment it will stay true in the vertical axis so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this inner ring I'm going to come out I want my key to be six millimeters wide so I'm gonna go right there and line up with the third block over I want it centered so it's gonna be three millimeters on the left I'm gonna come up I don't I don't have to have a critical number here I'm gonna come up uh, let's say right there let's say five millimeters Yeah, I was trying to get on this line right here. That's okay. We'll say five millimeters. Five millimeters. That'll work. Now I'm going to draw another line. And I'm going to go from here over six millimeters. Six millimeters. And then I'm going to draw another line from there back down and it'll snap right to that ring so there we have our key that key will fit up in the notch on the extrusion now we need to do the same thing on top so we're still on the same sketch same piece of paper still drawing in a flat two-dimensional plane and we are going to go and we're going to choose the line tool we're going to come over one, two, three millimeters. And you notice the X kind of stays on the track of that ring. And I'm going to click there. And I'm going to come down. And I'm going to call it five millimeters. Like before. And enter. Let's create one more line. And let's go from here. Line. From there, over six, enter, and then we're going to draw another line from here. Oh, draw a line, there we go, from there, back up till it snaps onto that ring. And I can type in five millimeters, and we're back. Okay. Now let's zoom back out, and we should have pretty much what we're looking for. Okay, now comes the part of turning it from a 2D, 2D image on paper or sketch into a three-dimensional body. So what we're going to do, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on the back of the inside of our hole and I want to give that a wall thickness now we made this wall thickness about two and a half millimeters so I want at least that I'm gonna just make it four millimeters 
So I'm going to click on this back wall and I'm going to say extrude and I'm just going to hit 4 enter. I've extruded that back wall 4 millimeters thick. If I go look at it in orbit mode which I can do by holding the shift and the center mouse button or I can do by grabbing this block and manipulating it that way or I can do by hitting the orbit button down here at the bottom and then use my left mouse button to orbit so there's different ways to get her done okay they all work just as well so now I'm going to go back to the top view and escape and I'm going to drag this down a little bit so I can see all the parts and I'm going to turn off the body because now we've made a body we still have a sketch this is an extrusion which created a body so I don't want to see the body right now so I'm going to turn off the view of the body go back to the sketch this is the section that we extruded to four millimeters now I want to take all of the other sections and bear with me make sure I'm doing this correctly sketches let's see sketch there we go and I'm gonna select this section hold the shift key down and select this section and this section this section and that section. everything except for that back wall that we've already extruded to four millimeters okay now what we're going to do is simply extrude this one. I'm going to make it 50 millimeters. And there we go. Now if I turn the bodies back on, let's shrink this, turn the bodies back on, and shift center button, I have created my foot. It has a back wall, it has a top, bottom, inner, outer, flat bottom, keys so that it fits in everything looks great that's exactly what I was looking for okay let's go back onto this view and let me rotate it so I can see the bottom just a little bit let's do a little cleanup nah, not necessarily cleanup what I want to call it let's just make it a little fancier okay um, what I want to do next is I'm going to take and I'm going to select that edge, shift, edge, hold the shift down, click that edge, and that edge selected itself. So we have all four of these edges selected. Now I'm going to go in here and I'm going to say modify, chamfer. I just want to knock the sharp edge off of the bottom of this foot. So I'm going to give it just a two millimeter chamfer just to purdy it up a little bit okay now let me bring it down here where we can see it again we're looking pretty good I'm almost there I've only got one more item in mind that I want to do to this and that item is I want to put a hole in the top for a set screw so that once I slide this foot onto the extrusion I can put a set screw through it and lock it on so they cannot slide back off okay so the next thing I need to do is I need to select this face and modify the face and not modify create I want to create sorry about that I want to create a hole which you can hit the H key I just don't have those hotkeys memorized yet so I can create a hole and move it roughly where I want let's go 23 enter no nope, that's not what I want let's select the hole and let's move the hole there we go Oh, that's not what I want either. Alright, hold on. 
let me do not see the hole in here so there's the chamfer there's nothing here so we've not created the hole I can tell I probably did something wrong let's do that again this is your timeline down here at the bottom and it is wonderful because if I make a mistake I can back up I can go before the chamfer and delete everything or I can go back here before the extrusions and if I wanted to I could go back into the sketch make a change and then come back up forward and it will update all of the things that I did and they will reflect the change I made in the sketch but all we're trying to do here is a simple hole so let's go in and try it again we are going to select the body and create a hole a hole uh, um, not wanting It is not wanting to uh, not wanting to cooperate. So let me see what I'm missing. Select the reference. Let me cancel that. Let me cancel that. Maybe I'm doing this one step incorrectly. Let me create a hole and put it right there. There we go that's more like what I wanted to do so I should not have selected it first apparently so let's move it if it will move let's go have the item selected a distance let's go through 20 millimeters is fine we only want to pass through the top key I know the key is two and a half millimeters plus or uh, five millimeters plus the two and a half millimeters of the wall so that's seven and a half so 20 millimeters will get us through the wall completely without touching the bottom of the foot and we want a diameter of four millimeters for our set screw okay now let me rotate up and make sure we are dead center of that key yes that works very well and we're a little bit close a little bit closer than I want to be to the front edge I want a little more material here so that it doesn't tear out so we're gonna go on modify and we're gonna move and the hole try this first of all hole right click okay hold on let me cancel this got too many things open so let me go to a nice square shot I'm going to right click on the hole I'm going to edit the feature and I'm gonna put my hand on it and I'm going to slide it back just a little bit and then I'm gonna click OK we should still be good let's take a look at it and there we have it that is exactly what I had in mind for the foot for my new 3d printer I like what I'm seeing I feel good that everything has come out the right size that I was looking for so I will pause the video here and I will print the foot and I will come back and show you the results so let's go ahead and switch back and there we are okay so just bear with me for a few minutes I'm going to pause it here it'll take uh, several hours for that to print but in uh, YouTube time it'll only take a few seconds so sit tight all right and we're back so it printed out it took about three and a half hours to print one foot I've got more printing and here is the result I have my foot turned out 
Got the bevel on the bottom, the keys in there, the hole on the top. Everything worked out just perfect. I love it. And for the final test, here's my extrusion. If you remember from some of my other videos, that's the profile. And these gussets you did not see. I actually did those on a live stream on Twitch. Um, they worked out well. I don't have my set screws in them, but so it slides, but it works out well. They're T-slotted into the extrusion, and once I put my set screws in it, that will be solid as a rock and nice and square. So, anyway, the next piece of the puzzle was these feet, and if I line the keys up with the T-slots, it slides right on. I'll put my set screw in here and be sitting pretty. So that was definitely a success. Turned out very well. Just what I wanted. And one step closer to this printer build. We're getting close. I've got to design probably in the next video, which will be coming up in the next hopefully couple days. And then I'm going to come back and we're going to design the top corners for this. But for right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue to print the other feet. And then uh, we will come back and move on to the next part. So stick around and back in when we put up another video and see how it turns out. Again, before I close out, I would like to ask that you uh, take the time to hit that subscribe button. It really helps me grow the channel and I would certainly appreciate it. Also, if you want to see when I put up the next video for the top corners, hit that bell and you'll get notified when I upload new content. I want to thank you for stopping by and I certainly appreciate it. I appreciate every one of your support and uh, I'm excited to get the next piece together and get this thing built and running. So for now, have a wonderful evening and thank you so much for coming by and watching my video.